Hi, people. So, uh, as you can see, I've been a tad busy. Ignore all the stuff around this, just this right here. Uh, I have tried to make a very jank video recorder that records onto standard audio cassettes. Now, I know nothing about cassette decks, so this has been fun. Uh, I've completely ruined this one doing it. Um, so that's why I'm using it. Um, I've completely ruined, uh, or removed one of the uh, spools and stuff. Um, have this big motor here. Uh, I'll see if I can get a better shot of that. There we go. Got this big motor here with a uh, spindle bit on the end that I can put a uh, cassette onto there. Um, and then I have this cassette deck here that I, uh, I got. I got this tape with it I don't care about. Um, it's like country love songs. Not my type of music at all, um, so I'm using it for this test. Um, so, bam. Um, <laughs> so, let me flip this down here, show what we've got going on. So, here we go. Uh, I will be using this deck over here. It's missing one of the spindles. I will, I can just put the uh, tape on it like that. Bam tapes on and then I'll just press play here and then um, I'll have this all plugged in and this going this will locate with the spindle there it'll go past this uh, it will go past the head get picked up by the audio circuitry or whatever uh, and then be output as audio so uh, bam that's basically the plan here and then I got the original speakers from this hooked up so yeah oh wait, I need to stop and then take it out okay so we also, um, if you look over here, we have uh, this power strip just hanging from the ceiling um, with uh, a light, this cassette deck, and this motor plugged into it. So if I turn that on, we'll know it's live and ready to go. Um, so let me just, bam, there we go. Now the light's on, we know everything's live, everything's uh, on. We will uh, put our tape in our tape deck. Um, let's see, which button is it? It's that one. Bam, you can hear it going. It's not gonna actually do anything though. So now we'll uh, lift this thing up. Uh, this thing doesn't start until you smack the power supply. So uh, that is what, how we're going to start this. So, yeah. And we're just going to do this locate that in the spindle and then uh, press play get my stick get it going I know if you can hear that but it's going it's working fine So yeah, I don't know if you could hear that, but it was outputting audio. Let me turn this off. Okay. This thing gets very, very loud when it's operating. Um, let's see, where did the cassette go? It also chews up the spindles really well. Um, so yeah, you can see this white... Uh, dust over here on the uh, up there on the spindle um, that is uh, from the spindle itself even though the spindle is black um, the tapes get very worn out very quickly with this thing but it was playing so yeah and just in that time look how much tape we already went through that's kind of incredible um, so yeah uh, not on uh, it's on this side here is the one uh, of the take-up spool. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> there you go. Sometime I'll try to get a direct line recording from this thing, uh, so you can hear what it sounds like without the tape constantly rattling on this thing um, going. Uh, it's been the wrong way. Let's get that rewound. There we go. Uh, the, the tape constantly rattling, and this being loud, and trying to hear the way fast, high-pitched audio over these. Uh, so yeah, 
Uh, I'll try to get a line recording uh, later today or so, and then uh, tonight I'll bring this inside and I'll try to record video onto an audio cassette. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Anyway, um, uh, I've seen some people record um, video at nine times a normal cassette speed. I think this is a tad more than nine times regular speed, so I think we should be fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll come back uh, later with some recordings from this um, and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and this is such a stupid project.